today I am reviewing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. It is a game that I personally have not completed. Uh, mainly because I had to replace my uh, PS4 controller to actually complete one of the levels because I was moving the grips around so toughly on the Ewok tree level in order to get up to meet uh, Tarful that I basically <laughs> got the control pad to be damaged on the analog stick to where it would just stick to one side and I couldn't complete that jumping section about three quarters up on the tree to make it to the end of the level. So I actually bought a new PS4 controller just to finish this game. But with the move and me buying it a couple weeks ago, I did not even get a chance to finish this game before I actually did anything with it so it's one of those things it's just a couple of those small little things um for what i played it is a wonderful wonderful uh rpg and i have enjoyed my time playing this give it a shot even if you're not the biggest star wars fan i do recommend that you give it a shot uh I did, I found that it was delightful, and I can't wait for the sequel to this one to come out next year, and for Star Wars Squadrons, which is the in-between game, which is your a solo pilot for either the Empire or the Rebels, and... You can actually unlock all the factions in single player and you just play as one character for each of the five game modes which is nice um for that one um and new game plus will probably be in squadrons it probably won't be in this one anytime soon uh mainly because it's far more difficult to do new game plus on a game where it requires you to basically complete certain missions in order to unlock certain abilities which is something that New Game Plus would not be able to do for this but <clears throat> the uh, thing is is I've enjoyed what I've played of this game so please like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video bye bye